Yo, 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 what is up? It's your boy, AB, back with another video. I don't know why I broke it up like that in syllables, but I did. Hey, man, uh, hopefully everyone is doing well. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Uh, just trying to bring you more and more and more content uh, here on the channel, here on Euro Auto Enthusiast. So thank you, EAE fam, for checking in. And if you are new to the channel, Hopefully you like what you see, and if you've seen other videos, definitely, if you haven't already, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any further content. And hopefully you'll like this video enough to click it. the like button. All right, hit that thumbs up. So, hey, what am I doing today? Well, I've got to run in and grab a, um, not a shimmy, but it's one of the drying towels I use. Um, not sponsored by them, but Meguiar's has a drying towel that I love. Uh, the only thing about that towel is, and I try my best not to use it, uh, especially toward the lower parts of the car after I wash it, because sometimes it gets a little dirty. Uh, or if you use it on the wheels to finish getting the rest of the residue off from washing it, or even in your tailpipes to kind of clean uh, the tips. Once you get that dirt buildup on there, it's kind of hard to get it off. Uh, even if you throw it in the washing machine and wash it. So we're going to talk about washing your car. <laughs> no, like literally, I'm, I'm going to bring you in. I'm going to update you on um, what it's been like to wash my car after using the Ethos Ceramic Coating. It has been a gem. If you want to get your own polish, uh, it comes with a, a pad as well. Definitely look in the description below, click the link, get yours via Amazon. And I promise you, I've only put on one, um, one coat all the way around the car. So, uh, it's been a gem. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. We're going to get that so we can go watch the car. And, uh, this is going to be probably one of the first times I think I've actually lathered up and use a wash mitt and wash the car down. So again, we're gonna talk more about that, stay tuned, and uh, and we'll be right back. guys so going through the dryer gets it pretty dry which is why I like going through it so you got to your spots where it's not gonna get real well but for the most part over the top of the car most of it is good I gave it a thorough wash like I said, which is the first wash it has gotten clayed. So that's the clay pad that I ended up using. You don't have to get this one. There's others you can get, uh, Meguiar's, Mother's, a couple more you can get, but this is the one I actually got. Let's get this car finished drying with the towel. Not bad, not bad. I don't know what that is. That's just a piece of lint. Let's just go over real quick. Not bad, all right. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's finish that up and then we will uh, we'll catch up in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back now. You see the car is clean. We gotta do something about all these little rock chips though. Ah, and that's a new one. You can see everything is and it's smooth to the touch and then of course always you get the residual bit of water that drips down from here but you can see the spa 
sparkles in this. I love whatever paint this is. Just gonna wipe real quickly just to get a little bit of that haze off. Mind you, I just washed it so it got a little, a little hazy. You can see where the, uh, the emblem was. I took that out or the roundel. And if you haven't watched that video already, definitely go and watch uh, that one. Uh, here's what was used a few months back was the uh, Ethos Ceramic Wax. Uh, this is what was used, like I mentioned earlier, uh, before uh, the vacuum got going. Uh, I showed you the synthetic clay bar. And so that was used. And then this, remove my helmet because I think it's under, I I saw it in here, yep foam um, applicator that came with that uh, which is what I use uh, to apply uh, the ethos so if you have not uh, seen that DIY that brief DIY video on how to apply uh, the ceramic wax in the DIY Wednesday playlist go check that out and uh, you'll understand how to actually apply it very simple hardly any cure time by the time you go around the car once and come back to wipe it down, you're pretty much wiping it down. Talking about the protection of it on the paint, how well has it held up? With the exception of today's actual full wash, I have rinsed this car a total of six times since then. And actually, that's a lot fewer than normal um, because honestly, when I drive the car, I wash it pretty often. And that's not normal prior to applying the ethos. I can definitely tell you that. It's not from lack of driving it. It has been, honestly, the car has kept its shine for longer periods of time in between washing. In this case, in between those rinses, the car has looked just as good. Now, granted, I can see, you know, when I get in the car, and look back granted i can get in and i can see the the buildup of dust in the mirror so when i'm pulling out of the garage you know i can see if there's any buildup of dust right now there's none because we just uh pretty much just washed it and uh but i can see layers of dust but because it's not sticking it's not adhering to the paint like it normally would without the ceramic wax or the ceramic coating, you know, it pretty much just falls off. Now here's the other thing. Uh, what I end up doing is when I go rinse it off, I take the uh, the wash soap, which is, and, and they have it on a warm water setting. So I go over it with the warm water, the watery soap, and then I come back with the deionized water, basically your distilled water. I rinse it very, very good. It's not a quick rinse. I'm thoroughly rinsing down the car, knocking off the dirt and stuff like that. Uh, especially the buildup that gets uh, around here from uh, dirt and any bits of fling that comes from the the wheel shine that I use or the tire shine that I use. It makes it so much easier to wash the car and honestly just rinse it uh no mitt no clay bar or clay mitt or clay pad nothing so a little over a month of using the ethos and it's been very very easy to maintain in fact it's been a lot easier to maintain uh by doing that so so i say definitely get you a bottle of ethos uh as mentioned before link is in the description below go ahead and click that link and you know, get whatever else you need uh, for uh, your car. If you need a organizer like the one I showed you, definitely get that too. It makes a world of difference <laughs> going in your trunk. If you're always traveling like myself and always carrying camera gear and your car wash stuff and all that. So now it's there. Stay tuned for conversations about what is next with this car. I still got some other maintenance that needs to be done. And we're gonna, I'm gonna be hammering home a lot of stuff with this car while it is still warm. Uh, so stay tuned, let's get ready for a ride because you're, you're about to see a lot of stuff, uh, E92 M3 and F10 535 M Sport because we still have quite a few things to get done to both cars. So we may as well just start knocking it out because I got time, you got time, I hope. So we're gonna knock it out. <laughs> All right guys, thank you. 
as always to my servicemen and women that are serving my fellow veterans active duty members big salute to you guys and as always thank you all for tuning in smash the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any further content on the channel you guys take care and as always keep driving <laughs>